Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Lee, so welcome to my video. So this is the video we are going to talk about the successor of the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark 2, Mark 3, Mark 4 or EM1 X or something. <laughs> so um, I am the you know the player of Olympus system. I own the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II right now. That's a long name, isn't it? And also, I own a couple of lens. You know, I got the 12 to 60 Pro from Olympus, and also I got the 25 millimeters f1.4. It is for micro four third, but you know, it's from um, Panasonic. So this new here. It's a brand new camera from Olympus. Well, let's say Olympus. The name is actually still Olympus, but the branding right now, um, the OM system is, is already on the Olympus. So let's say, <laughs> yeah, Olympus OM system. Okay, so this is the specification that I read on the DP review and I watch, I watched their videos as well. It's good, you know, it's a good camera, but is it any better than the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II or EM1 Mark III or the EM1X? We don't know. But the big upgrade here it has to be, you know, has to do with the new sensor. It is a 12, 20, 20 megapixel quad pixel AF stack CMOS sensor. It is a brand new sensor uh, anyway, but you know, it is still still a micro four third. We don't mind. I, I, I love micro four, pro <laughs> micro four third anyway, you know. I have no problem with it, especially for video work. So I can't find any problem with my EM1 Mark II. The protection, it is right now rated at IP53. Uh, this day, if, you, if we're talking about the IP rating, on smartphone, on cell phone, you know, we got IP68 on iPhone, on iPhone 13 Pro Max, right? And then um, from Android as well, they also have IP50. What is this phone? <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. What is this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, this is the Huawei P50 Pro. You know, the flagship phone from Huawei, it's also packed with IP53. No, 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 IP68 water and dust resistant. So we got updated in terms of weather ceiling. And also right now it is 1053X, all of them are cross type. That's pretty good, right? But to be honest, guy, um, I own the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II. I have no problem with autofocus. No matter what condition I am at, you know, video or photo, it is fast and reliable. I can trust it, you know. It's just very good autofocus in terms of continue air for something like this. Well, man, I, I have no complaint. Well, if we are from 1D or something, I don't know, <laughs> you know. But personally, I own this camera. It's, it, it just got me every single time I use it. Flag out free shooting up to 50 FPS with AF and E. Oh my god. This is a lot, you know, 50 FPS with AF and, you know, auto exposure as well. We can do sport with it. No plop, no, no plop. <laughs> Sorry, English is not my own language anyway. <laughs> Don't judge me on my speaking, right? But I hope you can understand it. The image stabilization is also good right now, you know, and also I already have amazing image stabilization on this, you know, fucking camera. It's just so good if you are vlogging, it's almost like gimbal-like. You know, I have no complaint with it. Again, you know, is this a big improvement? I don't know, but it, it is already good here. <laughs> and it is 4K UHD. It is already here as well, but except 60 FPS, of course. Here, here's the deal, 10-bit. I wish I can shoot 10 bit on this camera, no matter what it, uh, you know, externally or internally, but it can't do that on the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II. It's only 8 bit. So if this is 10 bit, is it 
externally or internally? <laughs> I don't know. You guys let me know. 1080p capture up to 200 FPS in 1080p. Yes, that sounds good, you know. We can do some slow motion. Twin UFF uh, UHS2 card slot. Um, I got one. This one only got one. Um, of course, it is two, two card slot, but one of them is compatible with, you know, UHS2. Only one slot. But I don't mind that, you know, I don't mind that. This day we can get cheaper card and I can record 4K video with this with this camera. You know, no matter what on the faster card or the slower card, I still can get, I still can record 4K video. And this camera will be available early March 2022. The price is at $2,199 for the body alone. It's good that, that, that we see a brand new camera from Olympus, you know, or, or the OM system. Um, it's good. But is this a big upgrade from the older camera? On paper, not really, you know, because this camera is still so good this day. You know, the Olympus OM-D EM1 Mark II, 4K video, 30 FPS, you know. 1080p video 60 fps amazing image stabilization amazing auto focus the menu system is amazing the build and the handling is just so good on this camera and what about the picture quality or the video quality alone is it a big improvement we don't know we don't know really because it's not out yet and there is an improvement i believe maybe a little bit but is it enough to upgrade because we can get this camera right now below 1000 in my country you know in my country you can get it below one thousand dollars let's say 950 999 and that half of the price of this camera half of the price of the om system right om1 and you still on micro photo well I, I i don't want to talk about micro photo or something I, I just said i'm okay with micro photo but anyway <laughs> it is what it is let's see uh, one thing that i complain on this camera is has to do with the wi-fi um i try to transfer maybe 10 pictures or 10 photos from this camera to my cell phone and it just take too long one picture it just my god probably the you know the bluetooth technology here maybe it's outdated or old or something like this that's why it kind of slow i wish they can update the bluetooth maybe put bluetooth 5.0 on here we can transfer a picture faster in emergency um, circumstance i mean let's say if you forgot your sd card at home your, no, memory card, not the SD card. What do you mean? <laughs> a card reader. <laughs> Let's say we, we left a, a card reader at home or you drop it somewhere else and you have a photo that you want to share to your friend, share to your family, you want to post it on your social media. And yes, this, this would be nice if there is a faster, you know, um, the, if there is a faster Bluetooth technology here. But other than that, I can't jump, you know, I have to do, I, ha I have to see it in real life. Let's say if this car is good, you know, I can trade with this camera and I see, you know, <laughs> if I can <laughs> bring it in and review for you guys. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope um, you guys like it and subscribe for more like this. And if you got any question or suggestion, please let me know. All right. So see you.